I will show you how to design this church flyer in Corredro. Hold on. Every information I'm going to make use of in this design, I'm going to put the link for you guys to download and follow the process. So guys, if you come over to this, you will see I have this background. So I took out this from this, all right? So you can see this background, this, and I will have lots more. I took out this from this, as you can see. So guys, I'm going to put the link of all this in the down description below for you guys to check it out. So without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor, guys. So basically, designing a church flyer, you have to make it, you know, look at the concepts. You're going to make use of the team and create a very unique and eye-catchy flyer. Do you understand? So the size we're making use of in this um, tutorial is 10 by 13 inches. So to change that, um, come over to your property bar, locate your units. And under your drawing unit, you're going to see inches. All right. So change that to inches. Then you come over to your page dimension and change to 10 by 13 inches. All right. Then once you do that, this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing you're going to do is come over to this rectangle tool and double click on it this way. And boom, guys, it's going to bring itself to this workspace over here. So the next thing you're going to do is if you move over here, you're going to see we have a black stroke. So always make sure when you're designing or before you're done with or before you even start designing, make sure you remove that black stroke. It's very important, all right, or the outline. So to remove that, um, come over to this color thumbnail over here and right click on it. And boom, guys, it's going to take itself out from that. All right. As you can see, we can't see it anymore. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to import our stock images for this tutorial all the backgrounds i showed you earlier so to do that come over to your file locate import shortcut is control plus i c t r l plus i then click on it and this box is going to come up so what you're going to do is locate where the files are saved all right so basically these are all the files so i'm going to select the ones who are going to make use of and um, basically if you see the ones that are not important just basically leave that there and you're going to click on import once you're done selecting then you're going to see this so just click and drag click and drag and place all your informations and all your backgrounds over here this way all right so click and drag click and drag click and drag all right so this is bigger so we can reduce this this way so let's place everything here and the next thing we're going to do is uh um, if you come over to this, you're going to see these are all the informations we're going to make use of, the text. And over here, guys, these are the names of the font. So if you don't have this font, please only copy the name, go to your web browser, paste it there, and download for free. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in this. All right. So before I start designing, let me explain the theme of this flyer. So it says, come worship with us inviting you to church come worship with us so basically that's why i brought out this um backgrounds to depict everything we're going to make use of all right um to depict every information in this flyer so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in this um this looks like a gates kind of like a gate so we're going to make use of it showing like the entrance of the church do you understand so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and select power clip, then place it into this frame. Then I'm going to right click and select edit power clip. Then come back to this and I'm going to scale it up this way. All right, so I'm going to scale it up this way. I'm going to bring that to that. So we're going to scale it up more a bit. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this one up a little bit and leave that to that. So let's see. This is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to right click again and go into the frame. Now we're going to make use of our curve, all right, to adjust the brightness and contrast of this um, image. So to do that, come back to effects, select adjust, select tone curve, tone curve, all right. So once you see that, you're going to just basically drag this one down this way. To make it a bit dark all right because our light will be coming from the right side of this all right so this place has to be kind of dark because the light will be on it so i'm going to just um click on okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on finish 
and um what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in this background we're gonna scale it up this way and we're gonna right click and select our uh, um power clip then place it into this place i'm gonna right click and select edit power clip then i'm gonna bring this over here i'm gonna scale it up just right there then i'm gonna use shift page down to bring it um to the back then i'm gonna scale it up again then i'm gonna bring this one down here all right so just bring this one down and you can scale it up more and um bring this one down here so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do we're going to click on finish and um right about that i'm going to change this to a ground floor instead of this rock so we're going to that's why i downloaded this one all right scale it up this way and uh, right click and select uh power clip then place it into this frame then i'm gonna right click and select edit power clip then i'm gonna go into the frame this way so what i'm going to do now is i don't actually need this um what's it called these skyscrapers over here so i'm gonna use my shape tool all right select these two not we have one and we have two then highlight it this way click and drag to highlight this way then drag it down here all right so basically this is what you're gonna have so you can just drag this one over here and um, leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use control plus page down to take it behind view this way so this is what you are going to have guys this is basically what you're going to have so i'm going to drag this one bring it down here bring it down here so guys this is what we're going to have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to effects select um adjust then select curve then i'm going to just um bring this one this way so we're going to just drag this one over here this way so that our sh the, uh, we're going to have some shading here so i'm going to just click on ok then basically i'm going to select my rectangle tool and uh, i'm going to draw a line over here a box then give it a white color so what i'm going to do is i want to create some um effects over here like something like a snow or reflection sorry i don't know what to call it but watch i'm going to just um use my transparency to fade out this edge this way then i'm going to select bitmap convert it to bitmap reason because i want to convert the other side on to fade it out i'm going to change my color model to um rgb and click on ok then i'm going to just um do this all right and this is what you're going to have so basically we can reduce this one a bit and we're going to just drag this one over here then use control plus page down to take it behind view and that is what you're going to have so we're going to leave that to that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just come over to this and um um basically okay let's leave that to that for now so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over to this all right i'm bringing the church this is the church the actual church all right then we're going to scale this one up this way so once we do that we're going to just basically right click and select power clip then place it into this frame then we're going to right click again and select edit power clip then we're going to use control plus page down to take it behind take it behind take it behind and that is what you're going to have so i'm going to just scale this up this way all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust this scale it up a little bit then we're going to come over to this and select our rectangle to draw a box just right here then we're going to remove um the the fill and we're going to give it an outline so we're going to see the box then i'm going to select my eyedropper tool and basically pick a color this green color all right then i'm going to fill it over here and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the white outline then i'm going to come over to my color thumbnail over here the down part double click on it then you're going to see your edit view you can use uh what's it called f11 i guess to get this shift sorry f button f11 to get it then i want to just adjust this this way adjust this bring it down bring it down this way then i want to take it to green all right not perfectly green though but it has to be green dark green all right so I'm going to just click on OK for now. Then I'm going to basically select my transparency tool. Fill out this edge this way. I'm going to fill out this edge this way. Then I'm going to bitmap it. And once I bitmap it, I'm going to fill out this edge. All right. Fill out this this way. 
all right so once i do that i'm going to basically um click on this white knot and um reduce i told you guys transparency is either used to reveal or hide so i'm going to review this a little bit all right can I review this a little bit i'm going to use control plus space down to take it behind view and this is what you are going to have so let me basically drag this down here and let's drag this down let's drag it this way and um let's leave that to that and that is what we're going to have so i'm going to click on finish and the next thing i'm going to do is i downloaded this image all right to place it here like somebody walking into the church like somebody bringing somebody to church all right so i'm going to bring in this one place it just right here then i'm going to use my shape to um reduce this this way and uh, reduce this one this way reduce this this way reduce this one this way and next thing i'm going to do i'm going to scale this one but basically this guy won't be as tall as this one so i'm going to just make it they, they are not going to be same height so i'm going to just leave that to that so this is better and this is perfect all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a shadow so to create this shadow i'm going to basically select my freehand tool over here and i'm going to basically um let's draw this way let's draw this way and draw this way draw this way draw this way so i'm going to give it um a black color so once i give it a black color double click on this black icon over here and come over to your color viewer change this model to rgb and drag this one down here and what you're going to do is you're going to basically go to your effect select um block then let's select federin all right increase the federin reduce it to bits and um all right i think let's let's use gaussian block go to block select gaussian block all right yeah that that works then what i'm going to do is i want to reduce this this way all right or uh, let me change this to blend mode to multiple let's see what we got all right let's try overlay all right let's try hard lights okay let's let's keep trying let's see let's see let's see colors colors all right that's disappearing overlay let's see screen then let's see soft lights all right soft light works for us then i'm going to just basically click on it and uh power clip this way all right then i'm going to select this one also and um do the same to this all right then i'm going to just drag this one here drag this here put it here and give it this color then i want to basically go to effects select block so let's go and block then i'm going to select um i think soft light is what we use here then that is it so i'm going to drag another one here and um reduce this this way then bring this one here then i want to basically select everything i click select power clip and leave that to that so that is what you're going to have guys for now so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring in this um light flake over here all right so first of all i'm going to cut it using Control plus k then i'm going to go into the frame i'm going to paste it then this one i'm going to change it to um uh, i want to change this to let's say let's change it to gray and c all right so now i'm going to just bring this light flare place it here then i'm going to come over to this transparency to come over to my blend mode and change it to screen so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to scale this up this way scale it up then first of all i'm going to change it i'm going to take it behind view this way all right so this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy it and paste it again i'm going to select my transparency tool and fade it out this way fade out this one because i don't want the the reflection to be on this i want it to be on this part all right so i'm going to just basically bring this one here fade out this one so since we're having our lights over here there should be a reflection here so i'm going to just copy this one and bring it over here all right 
bring it over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag this guy, scale it up this way. All right. I'm going to select my transparency tool. I'm going to change it to, let's say, screen. Or let's try soft lights. All right. So we're going to make use of soft light. Then I'm going to um, basically cut it this way. Right click, select power clip. Sorry, select edit power clip, paste it over here. All right. I will just highlight everything and scale it up this way. I'm going to just drag this one up here. All right. So once I do that, we just basically drag this one down a bit, bring it up this way. And uh, this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to select these guys. All right. Cut it. Take it behind, take it inside, then take it behind view this way. All right, so guys, this is what this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to click on finish. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to be bring this logo. Let's just right here. All right. So I'm going to just um, scale this up again, scale it up a little bit, scale it up this way. But I think there's a mistake um, somewhere. Let me see. Let me see. This thing is not reflecting the way I want it. All right. So, guys, I'm going to just copy this one. Let's take it in here and see. Okay. So, I'm going to click on finish. So I want the light reflection here since our light is coming from here. So this one will actually has to reduce a bit and uh, not show him that much. So I'm going to leave that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this and I'm going to copy this, this text, all right, copy it, select my text to paste it over here and um, I'm going to give it a white color so we we can see. I'm going to cut this um, invite to church, control X to cut, then paste it over here. The, the font name I'll be making use of is this one, the first one. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to put the names for you guys in the down description below. So this is the name, guys. So now what you're going to do is I'm going to place this one over here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I want to change this color to yellow. All right. So once I do that, I want to cop this one, bring it here. All right. So I'm going to break this one apart, put in my cursor here, press enter, put the cursor here, press enter, then break it apart using control plus K. And then fact I'm making use of this is called autograph. All right. So I'm going to just scale this one up a little bit. Then I'm going to make sure it is in the middle. Then the fact I'll be making use of this one is called this, this one over here. Copy it, then paste it here. All right. Then this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to same font to this one. All right. So guys, I'm going to scale this one up this way. So once I scale it up, I'm going to scale this one up and um, make sure they are all aligned to the middle. Then I'm going to reduce this one. Then I'm going to just bring it to the middle this way and make sure everything here is aligned to the middle. All right. So right about that, we're going to just scale this up a little bit again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to change the blending of this one. I'm going to select my transparency tool, change it to overlay. All right. So once you change the overlay, this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to just copy it, paste it. All right. So this is what you're going to have. You can leave it this way or you can leave it this way. So whichever one that works for you, is fine and it's fine all right so right about that, i'm going to scale this one up again and um take it up all right so let's delete one layer and see the outcome this is not bad though i like this um but i think pasting this one again copying and pasting it will make it more unique but whichever one that works for you it's fine so i'm going to cut this one paste it here all right 
So once I do that, I'm gonna just delete this one, reduce it this way. All right, give it a black color. And um, the font I'll be making use of this is called this one. All right, then I'm gonna change the fonts to this. And this is what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it apart using Control plus K, break it apart again. Then this one, I'm gonna make use this way. I'm going to change the font to Captain Book, this one. Captain Book. But I'm going to make use of the bold one. Alright, so I'm going to just change this to Captain Book this way. And this is what you're going to have. So, I'm going to make sure this is aligned properly. And I'm going to change the color to this. Change the color to this. Then this one, I'm going to scale it up this way. Once I do that, I'm going to give it a red color. Then I want to bring this one over here. Make sure they are aligned this way. I want to select my freehand tool. Then put a line just right here. Give it a, a black color. Then once you do that, this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to just place this one strategically over there. And for this one, change the fonts to Captain Book. All right. So once you do that, cut it and paste it over here then for this one we're going to make sure this one is um lights maybe normal medium all right then this one scale it up again and um, align it with this one so once you do that we're going to bring in our freehand suit put a line over here then put another line here then bring another one here and this is what you are going to have guys so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make use of all these icons to represent every information we placed here which we're going to select um, location then convert it to bitmap then convert to bitmap select mode select black and white then select ok and go to trace bitmap outline trace line ads and wait for its load and click on ok then basically delete this one then delete this one and give it a red color and bring it over here then you can scale it up a little bit and um, bring this one in here and um, the next thing we're going to do is Bring this one here, bring this one here. Now, basically, I want to convert it to bitmap. All right, let's scale it up again first. Convert it to bitmap. Just the same process. All right, select your mode. Then reduce this again, reduce this. Then convert to trace bitmap, select outline trace, line art. Wait for it to load. Um, boom guys okay if you have something like this if it's not showing just click on specify it's going to come up then bring this one here and delete this then do the same to this one all right do the same thing same process and um as we're waiting for this to load please don't forget to subscribe to this channel share my videos to reach other people guys then this is what you're going to have. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this one. Then I'm going to bring this guy here. Reduce it. For the website. Bring it here. Alright, so. We're going to reduce this this way. And that is what you're going to have. So guys. This is how. We designed this unique church flyer. In Korean Drug. But there's a mistake which i just cited this one has to go inside this way and uh, while this one reduce bit all right so it's gonna align so you have to make sure you have every detail fixed before you conclude your design all right so this is how we designed this church flyer in corridor if you have any question guys please don't forget to drop me comments in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video